This is Chusan. She's named after a 1950s P&O ocean liner. Uh, she's a 56-foot semi-trad built by G and J Reeves in 2005. Paintwork's very nice. She's just been blacked actually um, about two weeks ago and had a hull survey at the same time. That's available for viewing in the office. The solar panels there, 255 watts of solar power. Just passed a picture of the um, ocean line on the side there. Access is a bit awkward here. She's not in our marina at the moment, so if you want to come and see her, do ring to check where she is. She's coming to us in a couple of weeks. There's the tonneau on. Took a video of the tonneau cover on. She has a crouch cover as well at the front. That's a good, good condition. So when we go onto the back deck, the engine's under here, it's a B to 43. The battery bank's on the right hand side of the screen. 410 amp hour batteries for the domestics. They were brand new in 2019, there's also one starter. The storage and the lockers on both, side of the, both sides of the stern deck. There's the view from the helm. Morse control on the left. There's coal in that right hand locker at the moment and navigation equipment on the left. So in we go, a bit of a utility area at the back here. That's a washing machine. There's a travel power generator. That gives you three and a half kilowatts of 230 volts with the boat when the engine's running. The washing machine's a beaker. It's full size, eight kilos. It's new. And a corridor runs down into the bathroom. Good size of bath, I'm eight feet long. There's a Thetford cassette, one spare cassette on board, a ceramic pedestal basin. Some shelves there that sit over the calorifier. Hot water on board is generated by the engine or the resource of immersion heat when you're on a landline. Here's the shower, good size quadrant shower, tiled inside, thermostatic mixer taps. The paintwork on the outside is very good on this boat. She does need some modernising on the inside, that has to be said. But she's a good solid boat and um, lots you could do with her. It's like a walk-in wardrobe. That's a fridge. There's lots of fridges and freezers on this boat. There's hanging room over there for clothes and things, but fridge under. Here's the bedroom. The bed measures six foot three long by four feet wide. Storage under. Cupboards at either end of the bed, on the walls here. Cupboards at the other end there, you can see. And then at this end of the bed, there's another walk-in wardrobe area. There's a freezer there. There's a 240 volt fridge master, and then lots of hanging space and other storage space. And then into the galley, you can see the side hatch there for the the screen for the side hatch. The galley itself is 7 feet 10 inches long. It's a gate leg table here. There's six drawers, three either side in this. That's quite useful storage. Here's the sink. Stainless steel, covered under. Some repair needed to the wall there with the tiles. That's an induction hob, and that's a, come on, what it's called, a Visicook halogen cooker. There's the fridge, another fridge. It's a shoreline 12 volt, and there's a pulley out cupboardy thing. So the boat is gas free. It's got alternative cooking arrangements with the induction hob and the, uh, can't remember the name of it, Visicook halogen multifunction cooker. There's also a microwave, you can see it there. I googled the um, fizzy cook cooker actually, they're capable of all sorts, sound very good. Into the saloon, there's an L shaped dinette area here, 6 foot 8 inches long. It doesn't convert into a bed as it's configured, so don't assume that. There's a more so squirrel solid fuel stove, there's a little storage seat and sort of ottoman seat there at the bottom. There we go. You could seat six around the dining table actually. Television on the walls, a TV, uh, DV, TV combo. The aerial doesn't work at the moment. And there's the well deck. Lovely wide doors on this boat, actually. Opens up like a bit of conservatory into the well deck. The water tank was under the well deck. That's stainless steel. Not sure of the capacity. 
Um, she was last blacked in August this year, 2022, so that's just been done. She's been serviced, the engine's been serviced annually, last done in 2021. Lighting's all LED, head height is 6 foot 4. And there's a galvanic isolator on board as well. So you get a good lump of boat for your money, I think. Things you'd want to do to her, I'm sure, but um, all in all, very good hull builder. Nice paintwork, nice boat. So there we go, that's Chusan. For further photographs, fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rigboats.co.uk.